Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Now, we got some feisty news for the XRP community. Jeremy Hogan, the very vastly popular YouTube lawyer of legal briefs fame, and many of you are of high opinion on his opinions on the Ripple case and been following him religiously, he might have just pulled a fast one on you. I mean, he didn't scam you or anything, but he might have just joined a project that many of you are not too happy about. Yes, so this project called XRP2, which is a project that's based on the XRP ledger, uh, but it's intended for peer-to-peer -peer and general public transaction and spending. In fact, their general... Um, in, in fact, their general... Uh, information on their Twitter actually says XRP is for bank and government use. XRP2 is for peer-to-peer -peer and general public transaction and spending. So I don't know how many people are actually fans of XRP2. I've never actually heard of this before. They actually tweeted, their official Twitter tweeted, XRP2 fans, we have a huge announcement for you all. We have just in the last 15 minutes have confirmation that Jeremy Holgan of YouTube's Legal Briefs is on board as our legal advisor. Welcome to the team, Attorney Jeremy One. A lot of people actually thought this was a joke. It, and it could have been until Jeremy Hogan himself on his Twitter account retweeted him and said, happy to have retained, have been retained as US legal counsel for the XRP2 project. Yes, I do sometimes do more than tweet and make YouTube videos. Now, Jeremy Hogan himself is not a securities lawyer. He is a tort lawyer. Hogan & Hogan is a good tort um, legal firm. If you've suffered like injury or something, they would be who you go to. But this guy has built a lot of credibility in the XRP community because he's obviously a bag holder and he is upset at what the SEC has done like all the XRP army has. And he's provided somewhat, I would say, biased opinions in Ripple's favor in terms of like when the court case could settle and some legal maybe predictions or opinions in the community, which have been well received because obviously if you hold a huge bag of a coin or any of a coin and people predict optimistic projections for you, even if they don't really come true, you tend to like that kind of stuff. But he might have just lost the trust of a lot of XRP fans clinging onto XRP too. Like I said, I don't really know why you need to split two of them. XRP and really any crypto can be used both by banks and for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. You could transact almost anything. You don't need an entirely new coin just to transact peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, there's 99 billion XRPs out there. That's more than enough. Plus, like building a new protocol, you know, all that stuff. But, you know, like a lot of people doubt XRP2. They think it's a scam project. There's not much to backing it. And a lot of people think it could actually be a rug pull. Now, in my chat uh, for my live stream, many people have called it XRP Enu or XRP SV or XRP Cash. Or some even have called it XRP JH or XRP Jeremy Holgan uh, version. Now, he's not, I don't think he's the one that's running this coin, obviously. It's, I, I it, but it could be a money grub that had just retained him for the purposes of PR. And there's a good chance it could actually end up being really bad because I've never, even, well, I've heard of this before, but I don't think anyone really took it seriously. I think the main reason they, had, they retained Jeremy Hogan as their legal counsel is not so much because of his legal expertise. Like I said, he's a great tort lawyer, but he's not a securities lawyer. And if you're a token, you would probably want to hire someone like Jake, Cher Jake Chervinsky, assuming that he's available or higher, to represent you being a securities lawyer. If you, if you are essentially like in that field, you want to hire a lawyer that specializes in that field, not a lawyer that specializes in another field. Yes, they all have legal advice, but you want someone that specializes in your field of law. My guess is, for the most part, they did this because they know that he's very, very well known in the XRP community and a lot of people follow him. So if they retain him and make a big announcement and have him retweet it, um, some of the XRP investors will actually come over. But I don't think XRP investors are quite that foolish and they're pretty fanatically devoted to their project. And having another project that would um, maybe compete with their project, they're not going to like. So I think... I don't think XRP2 is going to be that big, and I don't think this was a good move for Jeremy Hogan himself. I mean, he's a lawyer. He collects legal fees uh, regardless of what the project actually is, but he actually might lose a lot of reputation in the XRP community because of this. But yes, I do not advise you to touch XRP2 at this moment until we figure out no 
what we know uh, until we know more about it. Heck, I don't even invest in XRP because of the whole lawsuit thing. So the thing is, like, I think this, I don't really know what people think of this. I don't think people are going to be happy about this news in the XRP community because he was a big central figure in the XRT, XRP community because of the lawsuit. And now he seems to have jumped ship to XRP2. I'm not really sure if XRP holders are going to get an airdrop of XRP2. And I'm not really sure the project itself. It seems pretty small. And I don't really trust it at this point. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.